Hey guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena. This is day 101 of 2017 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. Let's get started. First up on today's news radar is the Xiaomi Mi 6. So Xiaomi has just sent out invites for the same and the event is going to take place in China on the April 19th. This smartphone is expected to pack a Snapdragon 835 processor. You'll have two variants, one with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, while the other will have 6 GB of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Earlier rumors suggested that the smartphone will have a 19 megapixel camera in the form of a Sony IMX400 sensor, but now new rumors suggest that it will just have a Sony IMX378 sensor with 12 megapixels of resolution and you also get an 8 megapixel camera up front. Now, Xiaomi is also expected to announce a Mi 6 Plus along with this device at the event, so they could very well be holding out their guns, their big guns, for this particular smartphone, and that could actually pack a dual lens system, pretty much like the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. The Mi 6 is expected to have a single lens system, while the Mi 6 Plus could have a dual lens system. Now, this could also have the 19 megapixel sensor, the IMX400 that we talked about, but we don't know for sure. Let's wait and find out because it's just a few days away. Zeti has just announced a brand new product called the Zeti Quartz and despite its name suggesting otherwise, this device is actually an Android smartwatch that is powered by Android Wear 2.0. It has a Snapdragon 2100 processor under it, 768 MB of RAM, 4 GB of eMMC storage, and it comes with an IP67 rating for protection against dust and water. The device even has a circular AMOLED display which is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and has a size of 1.4 inches and 400 by 400 pixels of resolution. So this is something that's available at a cheap price of US dollar 199, roughly around rupees 12,000, and will be available from April 14th onwards through T-Mobile and it supports T-Mobile's networks. So what you'll be missing out on is basically heart rate sensor and a few other features since this device is somewhat of a budget smartwatch, but at 199, I think it gives pretty good value for money. And the 500 mAh battery will give you enough juice to keep you going for two days on standby. Earlier this year, Apple had filed a suit against Qualcomm stating that they had been charging royalties for technologies that they had nothing to do with. Now Qualcomm has been countersuing Apple in a claim that states that they have actually limited the performance of the iPhones that have Qualcomm chipsets built inside of them, claiming that there's not a big difference between the iPhones that are powered by the Intel chipsets and the Qualcomm chipsets. Now when you think of stuff, it actually makes sense since Qualcomm chipsets are normally faster and has been proven faster in the past when doing real life tests, but since Apple doesn't want to make it seem like there is a difference between the quality or the performance of their smartphones be it Intel or Qualcomm they have actually denied any such claims so if these claims are true there is a good chance that Qualcomm could actually have an edge and could make sense in this argument as well so let's see how that pans out Google introduced Duo last year in May at Google I.O. and later launched it sometime in August so far people have been loving it since it is a no-nonsense app which just allows you to do video calls with your friends and loved ones it's really easy to do and the quality is really great as well and I kind of prefer it over Skype and most other video calling applications and it has become my main video calling application ever since. It also has some features that other video calling applications don't have. Now, Google is also debuting the audio calling on Duo and that's something that brings a lot of interest to me especially considering that the quality has been better and there have been very few disconnections or interruptions on Google's video, uh, video calling app itself so this could be even better. So they also say that this would be better for people with slower connections and who don't have the bandwidth to use video calls. They have been demoing it in Brazil for a while and now they have just rolled out the feature all over to users worldwide and it should come to your smartphone soon as well. Today's deal of the day is an offer on audio products, both headphones and speakers that are available at a discounted rate of up to 60% off exclusively through Amazon India from the link in the description below. So that brings us to a point of today's discussion. What do you guys think about the Mi 6 and Mi 6 Plus smartphones that will be announced on April 19th? What do you expect from them and will you be getting one for yourself? Do let us know in the comment section below and see you again tomorrow with more technological news.